Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and I have a bee still on me here. I just came in from the bee yard. I'm running out of smoke a little bit, but it's been quite a good day for me here. So for those of you that haven't been following me, um, I had two highs last year, great highs. One is a little aggressive, but I managed it for a whole year. This year comes around, same hives a bit more aggressive, stings my neighbor twice, not the best situation. Um, even for me being out in the garden, we get chased a lot like the bees will dive bomb you. So I had to go in, kill the queen, and then I requeened. And I left, I took the, the plastic cap off and let the method go where they like get the honey out, or they get the sugar out of the, the queen cage. Uh, anyways, they killed that queen. So I brought in another queen. I brought two more queens in. I split the aggressive hive in half because it was like four or five boxes. And then I ended up putting in um, two new queens, came back. The one hive that was the split off the top died. Um, the bottom hive, uh, it survived and it was going. And I came back a few weeks later and found out that my entire hive was just honey. There was no brood, uh, there was no eggs, no larvae. I couldn't see any signs of a queen. I went through the entire box. The box is a little mad. I saw queen cells. I made the rookie mistake here of uh, taking the queen cells and cutting them off. Um, not a good idea here. I'm not sure if she was still in the hive at that point or if she'd already swarmed um, or if she had died and they were just replacing her. I don't know what was happening. But um, anyways, I had to buy a fourth queen and then I took her, I put her in this hive now that had been queenless probably for three weeks, I'm guessing two to three weeks, uh, before I really figured out what was going on. And then I had to wait another week to get it. So I think it was about a month. And so I'm kind of worrying here, like I can't afford to let these bees try to raise another queen from an egg from a different hive, my queen ant hive. And so I ended up getting this one. I put the queen inside. The bees all start putting their tongues into the queen cage. So I'm pretty confident at this point uh, they are accepting her right when I put her in. Unlike the original queen, they killed the replacement for that because they were like biting at the cage. Um, so I ended up doing all that. I put her in, left her a few days, got busy at work, finally came back. Uh, me and my wife came out and we opened up the hive pulled the cage, the bees looked friendly. I did like the finger test where you wipe your finger across the cage. The bees kind of moved, but then they go back and they're still trying to feed her. So anyway, so I take off the queen cage, where it's like the long spout, and then on the short part of it, there's another little hole you can open to put bees in or out. You have to undo that so you can break the lid basically open so I can let the queen out. Um, and so I ended up doing that. I opened up the little, the little door, and as I did that, a bee ran out. So I closed the door quickly and I was looking, I don't know which bee it was, um, so I'm kind of panicking. So then I open it again and two more bees ran out and those are all the bees that are in the cage. And so we're like looking on the frame because I have the frame held in front of me. Um, my wife's holding the frame and I'm opening the bees and we're looking on the frame frantically, we don't see her. Um, so then I see two bees rustling on the frame. So I'm like, oh no, I'm afraid that uh, my bees are gonna start bawling the queen. There's not a lot of bees in the hive at this point fair amount, but not nearly what they had. So I ended up picking the bees up carefully. Uh, yes, with gloves on, I didn't have bare hands, as a lot of beekeepers do, because I've been stung a lot and had super aggressive hives in the past. Um, but I ended up putting them in my palm and looking at them and seeing that neither one is the queen. I ended up pulling the one bee off the other bee. So at this point, I realized the one that's being attacked, I think, is just one of the like tenant bees that are taking care of the queen. Um, the other bee that I ended up pulling off accidentally squished and killed, but I don't really care, so I threw that bee away. And then we're sitting there working, and then I think that bee flew. And so at this point, I'm like, I don't think it's the queen, but I'm not quite sure. So at this point, I don't know what to do. I have no queen. I don't know what happened to her. She could have went in the hive. She could have flown away as we're like working in the bees. So I just hurry and put everything back together and think, screw it. At this point, if she survives, great. If not, um, I'm just gonna have one hive for the rest of the year. I'll wait until next year and then I'll get another one because at this point, I've already bought four queens um, with shipping and everything. It's like $50 a queen. So I'm already in $200 just to kind of fix this hive. Um, so I come back out today and I go in and I'm like, all right, Queen Anne, she's been solid, she has no issues. She's been filling with honey. I need to make sure she's okay. I would like to pull frames that are like 90% capped um, so I don't have too much water in them, but I'll check her in a second because I don't want her to get uh, honey bound and then end up swarming and having that as a whole nother issue. So I go into Beatrice II, which is this new queen I released. I look in there and I'm thinking I'm not gonna see anything. Um, kind of bracing to cut my losses at this point. I'm kind of tied emotionally to the hive as well. 
but I end up pulling out the first frame and looking and there's eggs on it. Uh, this is the one I just took from Queen Anne's Hive and put in earlier to help kind of batch a few more bees while they didn't have a queen, um, but they had eggs on it and it looked great. This uh, frame wasn't 100% comb. They'd only built out probably 75% of it, but it had eggs in it. So I take this one out and look right behind it and wow, there's a whole bunch of, of cat brood in there. So that means she has been there um, probably in the last nine or 10 days, somewhere in there. Um, but at this point, I'm happy, I'm excited. Beatrice II now is now going to be the reigning queen of this hive. So I have to keep a close eye on her. I'm not gonna try to check her too much, but try to make sure that she has everything. They clear the honey out that they don't need and that they're growing at an adequate size. When I ended up having the queen die right before this one, I actually pulled a bunch of honey off and I've just put it in the freezer because I don't know if they're gonna need it. So at this point, I might harvest a few frames knowing that she's good, she's solid. They still have quite a bit of honey that's in there that they're working with. But instead of having a deep in three mediums, um, they just have a deep in two mediums. She still has space to lay and everything looks good. I opened up Anne, same story, she looks good. Twice as many bees as I've seen before in all the cat brood. Um, when the whole issue was going on with Beatrice II, which was then at the point Catherine II, uh, Catherine II, didn't have any eggs, as we mentioned, so we replaced her with Beatrice II. But Anne didn't have that many eggs either, so I was kind of nervous, but seeing there's a frame here and there. Now going into Queen Anne, she has like the entire bottom box is looking great. Um, probably six out of the eight are full of brood. And then she has an empty frame and then she's got some honey and pollen in there. The box above it, again, more brood. The box above that is honey that they're still working on filling, but it's probably like 75% of the way there. But I feel confident I have an empty frame or two in the box below with the brood. So they shouldn't be honey bound. And then the very top box is like maybe 25 to 10% full of wax and honey, but there's really not a lot in there. But I'm giving them some extra space just in case, and I'm hoping to actually pull off a few of the honey frames from below. Anyways, that's an update here. It's July 2nd, I believe, uh, 2018. Um, good things have happened in this hive so far. It's taken me a long time to get her straightened out, but I am happy that they are set and ready to go at this point. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like my channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, until next time.